believe your eyes if 10 million fireflies what's up greg i hope you're having a great day welcome back to another episode of reacting to everything that you told me to. So because my channel is largely based on me doing commentary on things on the internet and movies and stuff, I get like a ton of suggestions for things to watch and react to on my channel and do commentary on. That's honestly how I get a lot of my ideas for videos is from you guys. And sometimes they're great ideas and I can make an entire video based off one idea. But sometimes the ideas are so little that I can't really make like a full video about just like that one thing. Because I generally like to make longer videos. So if it's just like a small clip to react to, then I can't I can't really make a whole video about that, but I still kind of want to explore some of those ideas. So I tweeted, hey, send me links to anything you want me to react to. I'm trying to see something. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be looking at all of your suggestions for things that I should make videos about. Because you know what? Most of my ideas come from you guys anyway, so I might as well just go straight to the source. All right, let's check this out. All right, straight away, I'm noticing that like none of the top responses are links. They're just people saying things. The Akinator app. Hooters had an airline. Guys, I said link. <laughs> Literally nobody is sending links. Also, Hooters had an airline? Is that real? I kind of don't want to look it up just because this person didn't send a link. But you know what? I'm going to look it up. Hooters airline. Hooters Air was an airline headquartered in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Oh yeah, look, there he goes. Hooters Air. What is the purpose of this? I mean, I've heard they have good wings, but I didn't know they were that great. To, to fly a whole plane? Shoot. Wow, this sounds like a great idea. I feel like I've heard many accounts of women who work at Hooters being like harassed by middle-aged men who are patrons of the restaurant. So I can't think of any better idea than like trapping them in the sky with these dudes for hours at a time while they fly over the ocean. That sounds like a pretty sick idea. This raccoon whisperer, it's kind of cool in a way. Okay, it's a video called Mobbed by Raccoons. 25, Tuesday night. I got three more pounds of hot dogs. Here. You eat that. It's just a dude feeding hot dogs to raccoons? All right, you ready? Wait, let's sit down. Wait. <laughs> okay, honestly, this is my type of content right here. So whoever sent me this, thank you. This is the type of stuff, honestly, that I watch on YouTube. There's this one channel that I watched for a while that was about this dude that had multiple raccoons as pets. They were named like Tito and Cheeto and he just had raccoons as pets in his house and he lost one and it was really sad. This looks awesome. Also, I like, I like how he's telling them to sit and like hold on as if they have any idea what that means. These raccoons do not look trained at all. They just look very fat and very handsy. They don't know what weight means, dude. You got, if you want them to wait, you're gonna have to teach them how. Okay. Wait! Oh my God, here. Homie, they don't know what that means, man. Raccoons have no concept of weight. The only weight these raccoons have is the weight they're putting on from these friggin' sausages. God, here, here, take them. You like my new hat? Are they oinking? <laughs> this is so weird. This is like a, this is like a fever dream. Whoa, this video is, this video was posted like three weeks ago and it's got 12 million views. Holy cow. Oh my God. How popular is this dude? He's got 300,000 subscribers, 12 million views, 12 million raccoons around him. I like that one is just kind of on his shoulder like this, kind of just tapping him on the shoulder. Hey buddy, my turn, my turn. Give me. Here. Oh my god, they're ripping my coat and everything. Here. Talk about overwhelmed with raccoons. This video is a weird combination of him totally bringing this upon himself and then also acting so shocked that the raccoons are being so unruly. It seems pretty clear that he feeds these raccoons often, so they expect him they expect him to feed them. But at the same time, he's like, whoa, whoa, okay, here's the hot dogs, raccoons. Take it easy, guys. This is so sweet. Every raccoon gets its own little hot dog and they go off to eat it. Like they, uh, they go off and turn away from the other raccoons to eat their hot dog by by themselves. That's so sweet. Look at this one in the corner. That's such a silly thing that animals do. Peanut does that too, my dog. When, if I give her like a really good treat that she has to chew on for a while, she'll take it in her mouth and then just like sprint in the other direction because she's worried someone's gonna like take it away from her or something or she just like she has to eat in private. I'm just imagining like people doing that. You go to a restaurant and the waiter brings you your food and you're like, oh fuck, I gotta get out of here dude before someone takes my food. And they're getting whole hot dogs, there's no half. There's no half. <laughs> now he's flexing on us a little bit. Okay, dude. That 12 million views money. We're buying whole hot dogs for these raccoons, baby. No half, no half hot dogs over here, fam. We're not skipping for these little trash pandas. No hot dogs. I gotta put the dry food up now. What are you doing up here? Here you go. Here you go. 
There you go. Look at that. Get your bow. Get your bow. Oh, I love, you know what? I love this little close-up right here. This raccoon right at the front of the frame eating. Oh, that's so cute. With its little hands. Right, that's gotta be one of the goofiest things in the world, that raccoons just have hands. What other animal has hands? I guess a lot, I guess like monkeys. But they're, I mean, they look, they look like little rodents, but they've got just like human hands. They can grab things like people do. There's so much more that they can do with real hands. They could flip you off. Imagine getting flipped off by a raccoon. <laughs> What would warrant that when you give a raccoon half a hot dog? Oh, you messed up now, buddy. You messed up big time now. Imagine getting slapped by a raccoon. Yeah, honestly, that would be cute as hell. Getting slapped by a raccoon. I, that would be so, that would be so cute. I would actually pay money to have a raccoon slap me. Well, that's enough for that. We're gonna put the dry food out. Maybe I'll put some cookies out. Oh, so he's not... So he's not just feeding them hot dogs. He just said he's gonna go get dry food and cookies for these raccoons. Okay, so that that probably explains why all of them are so fat. I think this is one of the best things I've ever seen, if I'm being honest. Wow, he does this so often. Oh my God. 22 hours ago, 22 hours ago, a day ago, a day ago, two days ago, three days, four days, five. He uploads like two feeding videos a day. He's got these raccoons on a schedule, dude. He's running this thing like clockwork. I really want to know more. Wait, also his his like channel trailer on his channel is a video called Raccoons and Peanut Butter Sandwiches, where first off this raccoon is just adorably peering through the window here, but this video is from six years ago. This dude's been doing this for six years? Oh my god. This dude's been feeding raccoons every day for six years. This is wild. Okay, I'm uh, I'm I'm subscribing to this channel. I need to stay up to date on this I'll update you guys if anything crazy happens. This is so cool I feel like people are gonna think I'm really overreacting to this, but I really like this. This is great I gotta I'm I can't keep watching this because I'm gonna the whole video will become about raccoons if I keep watching this And I said at the beginning that I was gonna do multiple topics in this video, so we're doing it react to music What <laughs> so this is music, huh? Huh, that's crazy. I've always heard about this stuff, but I never gave it a good shot until right now. And honestly, I hope I don't get too much flack for this, but this is kind of cringe. Someone just sent me a My Chemical Romance cover of All I Want for Christmas is You. Are, are you just trying to get me demonetized? <laughs> I don't want to get copyright claimed on my videos. I'm not just going to react to an entire song. Okay, again, this is not a link. This is just a... a a picture of a movie poster, but I am intrigued. It's called Legend of Kung Fu Rabbit from Zero to Hero. Very clearly a ripoff of Kung Fu Panda. In fact, there is a panda on the cover of the movie. I feel like they're really hoping that you'll mistake this for Kung Fu Panda and you'll buy this on accident for your kid. It's also got this dove icon that I feel like I've seen everywhere. This was in the trailer for Gooby as well. All right, I'm not gonna watch all of Kung Fu Rabbit right now. I'm not gonna watch an entire movie while I'm filming this video, but I will. I'll see if I can find the trailer. Wait, what? This movie has John Hedder and Rebecca Black in it. John Hedder, who is Napoleon Dynamite, <laughs> and also Rebecca Black are in this, like, fake Kung Fu Panda ripoff. Okay, consider me intrigued. Land of honor. Many have fought over the mysteries of Kung Fu. But only one. I'm actually surprised that this, this movie looks actually kind of well animated. Like it's, I, I guess it came out in 2013. It looks a little bit older than that. I mean, compared to like Ratatouille, this movie, this movie is like a top tier high budget blockbuster film. This actually looks not horrible. <laughs> to unleash it. Boom, 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 boom. Three cakes straight from the oven. Yummy, delicious. Oh my God. Oh no. What? Three cakes right out of the oven. Yummy, delicious. Is that the main character? Is that, is that the Kung Fu Rabbit? Please tell me this dude is not the main character. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, boom. Three cakes straight from the oven. Yummy, delicious. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god is right, little bunny. This dude is just wrong in every way. First off, look at how when he's talking, his lip moves. Like, the middle of it somehow moves up so you can see the top of his gums. That's, like, really gross for some reason. To see... Ugh. I am the new order. Anyone with doubts can challenge me. Is someone gonna do something? Huh? Me? Uh, duh. I'm going to 
be a sweet cake making kung fu superstar. I hate, I hate this guy. This main character. He seems like the least likable main character ever in the whole world. In the whole history of cinema. I think I might hate this dude the most. He just sounds so dumb. He's got that kind of gooby vibe to him where they, I feel like they tried to make him this like lovable oaf. But he's just, he's just an oaf. He's just kind of dumb. Also, I, like... There's something up with his face. They they messed it. They messed up. Look at his like tiny beady little eyes. Also, for some reason, they're not even looking the same direction in this shot. He's got one eye looking right into the camera and one eye looking to the left side of the screen. You always got to be looking around, man. You never know when somebody's going to try to ambush you. You got to keep an eye out. Always be looking around. His usually in animated movies, they give characters like big cute eyes because that's like a cute a cute thing to give characters big eyes. But his eyes are so small, and so is his nose and his mouth. They're all every feature on his face is small and spread out. He's just got this large face with tiny features on it. It's not right. John Heater, Tom Arnold, Rebecca Black. Player but that was weird. They just listed like a bunch of famous actors that are supposedly voice acting in this movie, but then the clips that they showed to show those famous actors, they the character didn't have any speaking lines. They were kind of just like jumping through the air and grunting. John Heater, Tom Arnold, Rebecca Black. Well, they got Rebecca Black's breath in this movie? And John Hedder, dude, that sounded just like Napoleon Dynamite's grunt. That's crazy that they were able to get one little, one little ah out of him. That little ah really got me jazzed up to see this movie. It's like, are these... Are these people really in this movie? Also, I like, I just paused in the background and like the, all of the characters in the background are just the same <laughs> character. These little white fox things. I don't even know what they are, like wolves. They just copied and pasted them three times. Bon appetit, world. Legend of Kung Fu Rabbit. And this next- All right, yeah, well that movie looks awful. I don't know how, you know what? Another weird thing is at the beginning it said that this is a, a Lionsgate Film? That's like a really big movie studio. They uh, they produce a lot of popular movies, like big budget movies. I'm very curious as to how Lionsgate produced this. Okay, this person just says, I've been waiting for this one, and then sent me this link. So let's see what it is. Object star I've shoved up my ass. Yeah, I'm good. Nah, I'm at... <laughs> Nah, no, thanks, man. I'm good. All right, guys. Well, that's all of the of the links that Twitter will load right now. So I think that that is a good time to end the video. Uh, but not before we talk about today's sponsor, ExpressVPN. Guys, you already know what it is. This video is sponsored by ExpressVPN, the best VPN out there for all of your internet security needs. Guys, when I'm doing my thing, I'm working, whether it be at home or on a public Wi-Fi, there's nothing more important to me than internet security. I don't want anybody looking at my data, snooping on it. You know how top secret my data is? I could have important things in there, like my bank account information or my next disguise. I don't want people looking at that, which is why I have ExpressVPN on all of my devices. I've got it on this laptop, I've got it on my phone, I've got it on my desktop, I've got it on everything, because you never know when your data might be vulnerable. And also, there's other things that it does too. So not only does ExpressVPN offer you anonymity from your ISP and online advertisers, you can also use it to unblock content that's not available in your area. For example, the movie The Shawshank Redemption isn't available on Netflix in the US, but it is available on Netflix in France. So if you switch your server location to France, all of a sudden you can watch it. ExpressVPN is super easy to use. You literally just open it, you press the connect button. If you wanna change your server locations, they're listed out super easily. You just click on one, hit connect, and you're good to go. You don't really need any technical knowledge. There's a few reasons why I think ExpressVPN is the best VPN out there. First off, they have the fastest speeds out of any VPN. They've got 24 seven customer support so you can get help whenever you might need it. And they've been consistently rated the number one VPN by a bunch of different sources, CNET, TechRadar, The Verge, and many more. So find out how you can get three months free by going to the link in the description. That's expressvpn.com slash Danny Gonzalez. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N.com slash Danny Gonzalez. Thank you to ExpressVPN for sponsoring this video and thank you to you guys for checking out ExpressVPN. All right guys, well I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new here and you're not subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe and turn on my notifications to join Greg and I will see you guys next time. Bye. This video is over now. Over now. Go find something else to watch or just watch this video. I know we had a lot of fun. A lot of fun. But you can't stay on this end screen forever. This video is over now. Over now. So why are you still watching this?